Hello and welcome to the video. If you want a bunch of super immersive mods, then you're in the right place. I've made a few more mod videos, also videos like this, which is actually using the first mod I'm about to speak of, the realistic traffic density mod. If you too want a bit more traffic and more pedestrian traffic, people walking around, then this mod is for you. In slightly better detail, this mod makes it so there are more traffic and pedestrians for a more immersive feel. Now, before we do dive into the nitty gritty, all the mods I'm discussing today will be linked in the description down below. Hey! Oh, shit. My bad. Where did you get on the roads? I guess today you got off the roads thanks to night city alive which breathes new life into the streets it's not just bikes though civilians are more aggressive and more responsive to your crimes and gang crimes making the streets feel like a living breathing organism and guess what the ncpd now has gang affiliations making encounters more dynamic honestly just for the bikes joining traffic this mod's worth it next up night city estate time to let out your inner corpo buy properties and start racking in that passive income basically when you install this mod you'll be greeted with a text and a bunch of new map markers these map markers will be the places you are now able to purchase after you head over to one you will be given a prompt and it will show you the details on that particular place the price and the amount of income it will provide also using the mod settings mode you'll be able to change how often you will receive income but the default i believe is like two days and the time you receive money is around 3 p.m something like that but moving on to the next mod now Part of immersion is what we see. So a couple of visual mods, starting with the Nova Lot. This is not a reshade, by the way, so there's no extra fuss installing the mod. No reshade equals no fuss, if you ask me. And if we look at the finer details, it's easier to realize how much of a difference it actually brings. But for the most part, it just dials down the oversaturation and makes the color palette more natural. Both are a cool look, and I think the Nova just makes it feel more realistic. But also in some places, it gives it a really massive Gotham vibe, and that's just a win-win for me anyway. The next visual mod is actually a texture mod, the Cyberpunk 2077 HD reworked project. This project aims to improve the graphics by reworking game assets to better quality, preserving original art style and good performance, says the mod author. And correct they are! This mod makes the game look much nicer and much clearer and crisper. But other than that, there's not too much to say or too much that I have to say about this mod, apart from it's really nice and it's really easy to install. Just smack that install with vortex button, speaking of buttons and smacking. How would you feel about smacking that subscribe button? That would be very much appreciated. Anyways, let's move right on. All right, now for budgeting reasons and because I'm a professional-ish artist, I'm gonna use paint to describe this one. Okay, we'll grab a person. Gray, because they're neutral and they're on the ground. They're laying down. They're dead, all right? Well, when they're dead, a little nice looking blood puddle arises out the body. It's like real life. And this mod is called... Ready? You see that? It's called this. What's a G look like, chat? Egg. Egg. H. That is so not a A. N. C. E. D. Yes. <laughs> and that is what the mod does. Now, truthfully, though, like, real talk. The mod does a very good job at it. The blood looks nice. The blood does look nice. But yeah, uh, rate my depiction description. Uh, what's this called? Rate my paint presentation out of five, please. Anyways, on to the next one. Mod number seven is the vehicle customizer. So after you download this mod, what it does using Cyber Engine tweaks, you can customize your rides to perfection. And the best part, your style sticks around even after you turn the game off. As long as you save, of course. But yeah, pretty cool. Because even after all this time, Cyberpunk never, or CD Projekt never added a way for us to do it ourselves. Seems like a lot of wasted styles because a bunch of these, I don't even think you see driving around. Especially the motorbikes, because, um, well, they never drove around until this video. But yes, moving on to mod number eight, Crowd E3 2018 Restored. So for this one, the mod creator actually restored more or less about 100 NPCs from 2018, which I believe CD Projekt Red ended up deleting in the final build of the game. And just so you know, this doesn't touch any of the secondary or main NPCs. The vanilla ones are all still there. This just adds all of the restored ones in. And uh, yeah, you'll just find them throughout the game. And with that, let's move on to the next mod. A mod that you cannot forget, the Immersive Cyberpunk City mod. Okay, so this mod has added loot from civilians, clothes, money, and jewelry. You can also run up behind and grab civilians, murder them, or unlethally take them out and then carry their bodies away. You can now hack civilians as well. You now also gain XP from fights against the police, 
Police also dropped their weapons, items, and weapon recipes, enabled hack outline on the crowd, and perhaps a few unlisted features. Or perhaps not, I don't know. Just a few of the cool features that enhance the game's reality, reality, re reality, lastly, and certainly not least. Real Vendor Names. It's a simple mod, but so impactful. It literally just names the places on your map. Like, the ones that are just a, a bar icon or just a ripper dock. It actually names them to what the places actually are, which is so immersive. Making the world feel more authentic and connected. As an extra, I'm also including the mod eliminates crouching and aiming vignetting effects as well as the immersive first person mod and the immersive time skip mod and this is what they do the first one eliminates what it says as you crouch you don't have that silly thing on the outline the second one makes first person much better when you look down you can actually see your body properly you have a better view for ultra wide players and mostly for not ultra wide players but either either both are very great and the last one well it does this as you want to skip time once installed using the button o and on controller it's the left joystick basically a, a time lapse of your own also, if you're interested in time-lapse, I made one myself of Cyberpunk. Link below and I think at the top right right now. With all that said and done, thanks for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. I'm curious about what mods you're running or if you have any that I should take for a spin. Always looking for new mods, so leave your thoughts below. Don't forget to subscribe for more and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.